There are two characters in One Piece that have been introduced as a wacky type that intends to be diabolical only to constantly gap and be shut down time and time again. Those two characters are Buggy the Clown and Caesar Clown. Buggy was the first Devil Fruit using antagonist introduced into the series and because of this at the time seemed quite menacing. His Devil Fruit ability seemed very powerful and it was hard to see just how much potential they could have. And even to this day, it remains mysterious with people speculating just how far he could go with it, especially with the introduction of Paramecia Awakenings. It's not like he was alone either. He had a dedicated crew blindly following, including what we could consider at the time a few commanders who were powerful enough to give Zoro a run for his money. That is a pretty notable feat, and them being completely subordinate to Buggy showed that at least relative to where we were at in the series, he was quite powerful. As the story goes on, we learn more and more about Buggy. Even though we don't realize just how serious it is at first, we learn shortly after we meet him that he was affiliated with Shanks. Again, we don't realize that Shanks is a Yonko at this point, but it's certainly interesting that this person that inspired Luffy to begin this journey knows Buggy, indicating that he has even more of a reputation than we can know at that point. After Orangetown, we get one of the most powerful scenes in all of One Piece when Luffy smiles as he thinks he's about to die and is saved by a lightning bolt. Of course, the executioner in this scene had to be Buggy, which in the grand scheme of things is something he will eventually be honored to say he was a part of. Next, he makes his return in the underwater prison of Impel Down. In addition to his Devil Fruit powers, we see he also acquires the ability to get extremely lucky in the most dire of situations. This continues as he makes his way to Marineford and tries to utilize his geographic position and video the whole situation and broadcast to the world that he is a former member of the Roger Pirates, which is surprisingly true, and that basically they should respect his authority. Of course, that whole thing is a total shit show, but as far as I can tell, he actually does have some impact on what comes later, which is the most important part of his career. During the time skip, he is offered the title of Warlord by the world government, and as you would expect, he accepts. He now has a fully functional crew with hundreds of subordinates from Impel Down who believe he is super powerful, as well as the ability to pirate legally, thus giving him the opportunity to start Buggy's Delivery, an underground organization that operates similarly to Germa Double Six by sending mercenaries to fight in other people's battles. Additionally, after the events of Dressrosa, Dofi is taken out of commission, thus giving Buggy a near monopoly in the war market. All of this is a pretty ridiculous rise in status for our man Buggy the Clown. Then we have Caesar Clown, the enigmatic scientist second possibly only to Vegapunk himself. We first learn about him when the Straw Hats venture to the freak show known as Punk Hazard and discover many half-human, half-random animal people walking around the island and continuously referring to some unknown person as Master. We then learn that this unknown person is Caesar, and that he has been conducting some pretty dubious experiments on this island. In the same way that Buggy wanted to become a great pirate and didn't respect his former comrade and rival, Shanks, uh, rival's kind of stretching it, but bear with me, Caesar wanted to become a great scientist and surpass Vegapunk. While Vegapunk's inventions, as far as we've seen, have mainly been for the benefit of mankind, at least from the world government's perspective, Caesar didn't care for the purpose of his science as long as it was advancement, and because he was wanted by the government, he was forced to base in a remote location and partner with Doflamingo in order to keep operations going. He was a central factor of the Smiles trade by creating SAD, a key ingredient for Smiles. We do also end up learning that he was the one who manufactured the chemical weapon used by Jack so the Beast Pirates could turn the tables on Zoe. After he is defeated at the hands of the Luffy Law Alliance, a lot of shit happens that doesn't really pertain to this video, but after all that he finally makes his escape and is somewhere in the world now. We don't really have any idea where he is or what he is doing. So now we come to the main point of this video. Where and what could Caesar be doing? I believe that Buggy the Clown and Caesar Clown, if they are not already, will soon be working together. Besides the obvious clown in each name, there are a lot of similarities between them. Both of them are memester characters who seemed overpowered at first and then not so much. Both want to become well respected in their profession and have a superior rival. Both of them are forced to help the Straw Hats to save their own skin, 
And most importantly, both just lost their important business partners and what each of them was providing for each other was the opposite. Caesar provided Dofi with technology such as Smile's ingredients and promise of future inventions so Dofi could use them and sell them, primarily to Kaido but also throughout the entire underworld. Buggy was the leader of a similar organization that sold mercenaries to fight people's battles for them, but all of his mercenaries left to join the Straw Hat Grand Fleet. Notice how both trading partners for these guys were dismantled by the Straw Hats in one way or another. Buggy needs a producer, specifically someone who can produce tools of war, and Caesar needs a distributor. They would make absolutely perfect business partners. In the words of Chesnut, a member of my Discord, it would be like Buggy Ball 3.0 Chemical Warfare Edition. Without this, Buggy's place in the story is very awkward because he was shown to have built this powerful business to only shortly after have it basically destroyed because everyone making the actual money in it end up in left. So why would Oda introduce it just to make it irrelevant without actually doing anything with it? Caesar has been such a pivotal character since the beginning of the New World. For him to just disappear without doing anything else would be a shame and make no sense, especially considering his insane intellect. A lot of people also seriously believe that Buggy is going to be a late game contender, and I definitely don't see this happening based on his brute power, so this would certainly be the most effective way for him to do something. The battle in Zo went on for days between two squads that were both relatively powerful Powerful. But once Caesar's weapon was launched, Zoe was completely decimated in no time. If you ask me, it looks like it's only a matter of time until they join up and make a big move. I'm counting on that happening because I think it would be a super fun and creative way to incorporate both of them into the One Piece endgame. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Do you think that this is a plausible theory? Is it just, am I putting way too much into the fact that both of them have clown in their name? Or is there actually something here? I'd like to hear what you guys think about it. Also, maybe there's some similarities that I missed. I would love to hear those for sure. The idea for this video was actually brought up by a member of my Discord, as I mentioned him earlier, Chesnut. So... I'm telling you guys, it goes without saying that it is totally worth joining my Discord for multiple reasons, but at the very least, if you want to come and contact me, give me ideas of theories you have, or just discuss other One Piece or different anime theories with tons of different people, definitely join the Discord. Check the link in the description. It's an awesome time. It's super easy to sign up. Get in there right now. With that all being said, I hope you guys have an excellent rest of your day, and I will talk to you soon.